Hi sports fans, hope everyone's okay today. So, what we got today? It's the Far Tank 2. And I got this from Vape and Quit. I'll put a link below. Very helpful. Great little store there. And they're going to be one of the few people stocking this. It's a very special review today. So, I'll give it a bit of time and we'll go through it all what you get in the box. So, why is this tank special compared to uh, the usual kind of tanks? It's because it's the first to have an air adjuster on it. Ooh. So, a bit like on the old Kanga Pro tanks, you might stick a matchstick in the bottom to make it slow on vaping. Same principle, but obviously this one's a lot better because you just adjust it. We'll show you that. So, what'd you get in the box? You get a spare coil and you get the tank and you get a little skirt, so that's always handy. Now I was just looking at this coil and I think, oh, it looks very familiar. And if I had to guess, it's similar to a pro tank coil. But the thread does seem to be a bit it's not completely like a pro tank coil. Does a pro tank coil fit in there? Good question. Let's have a look. Oh. So it unscrews for cleaning. It's a plastic tank. Like so. That's a good job we looked at it because it's loose. So it's always worth just checking on that. Uh, I'll put, put in a pro tank. Oh, I've got one open already. Hang on. Sorry about this. There we go. Hi. So this is a pro tank coil. Can go on. And we'll just see if that screws in there. And ooh. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm. No pro tank coil. So you will have to use the coils for this. But I'm sure they'll be readily available. As most things nowadays. But something to bear in mind. There's the tank that unscrews as well. Might as well take all the pieces, well. He says. Oh, that bit stays on there, and then the drip tip pops out. I think that bit does unscrew as well, but I don't think anyone's particularly bothered about that. Either. Yeah, but how would you fill it? Ah, <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't unscrew. So you will have to fill it like you would fill a Kanga Pro Tank as opposed to a Vivi Nova, something like that. So let's get some filling. Today, Mr. E, Mr. Liquid. Suddenly, do, 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 do. It's a Saturday night here. Having a good old time. Wow, loads of juice there. It holds. 2.08 millilitres in total. Looks nice. I'm quite excited about this uh, uh, adjustable airflow. And then we'll know how good it is. So that just screws in nicely. It's a little bit tight. You don't leak in, do you? There we go. Voila. Looks like that. So, how does it work? This ring at the bottom, I'll try and do this as best as I can do it. This ring at the bottom twists and it has air holes in there. And you just simply pick how many air holes you want visible. Like so. So obviously the more air holes, the more airy the vapor will be, the tighter, the tighter the draw will be. So when you set up a new thing, you always best get a couple of toots just to Make sure it's going to wick well. The wicks all look wet. Quack. And we'll screw it on. We're going to vape it on an MVP today. Looks nice. Nice looking tank, isn't it? Like a shiny chrome colour. So. Ah, we didn't check the ohms of the coils. Let's have a look at these coils, in fact. See what it tells you on it. Nope. 
doesn't tell me on this one and it doesn't tell me on the box and what I'm vaping on doesn't have a ohms reader so what we'll do we'll play it safe and we'll chuck it down to 3.8 see how we go mm. so it's just a case of adjusting it to when you get the perfect airflow you want this is really nice juice, this is a real nice vape actually 4.2 now, try a bit more power wow <whistles> the drip tip's nice, you can pop out that and put your own in uh, the tank looks nice, it's great Plenty of vapour there, aren't there? So what I'm doing, I'm just twisting it round, trying different air settings. Can you work out which one's best for you? Let's try this one. It gives out a ton of vapour, doesn't it? awesome that's the box you see what comes in on the box it says uh, the I don't know, how do you pronounce it the far tank by iJoy it's the first airflow adjustable tank adjust the airflow by rotating the metal ring and that's it uh, second generation it says DIY it says it's re um, well, on the website it said it was rebuildable but it's not rebuildable as such. You can obviously change the coil out, so it will last you forever. Just a case of um, buying a new one. Well, yeah, it great. In fact, it's great. What I will try though, I've got a different. Oh, that's how. No, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna. There's a slight gap there. This isn't to do with the tank. To do with how I've got it set up. So I'm gonna adjust my ring up, so there's no gap. So this is that's probably how you should have it set up really. So now it's purely going to use the air holes that come on this. It'll probably vape better now. Mm. It's got a lovely taste. It produces loads of vapor. Looks good. Vapes good. It's all good, all good. Keep moving, going back to using good again. Why am I using good? Just use more exciting, exciting names and words. Awesome. That was my new one, wasn't it? Awesome. So I think it's just a case of trying all settings and work out which one you like. Some people like different kind of vapes, don't they? A lovely little tank. I've enjoyed uh, looking at this. Would I pick it over a Kanga Pro Tank or a Vinova? It really depends on you as an individual and how you like to vape. The a big advantage of this one, of course, it's adjustable, so you can just have it exactly how you want it. So in theory, you can't really go wrong, can you? Because if it's adjusted to how you want it, then surely it's the best vape you can get. But as in flavour wise, it's good. Um, you can obviously, like the Kangath ones, you can remove the top wick as well if you've got any wicking issues. Um, but for me, I was vaping great out the out the box really. Um, I was recommended to remove the wick um, and I forgot. <laughs> and should have had any issues obviously I would have done that but I don't know, this is good, this is really good. So, I'll just pump it up to 4.5. See what's like then. 
be mean. No, 4.3 for me. Seems to be very awesome. So, thumbs up, thumbs down, as other people do on the internet. Looks good for thumbs up. Uh, holds a lot of liquid for thumbs up. It comes with all the skirt, coils, once again, fantastic. You, you got it from vape straight out of the box there. Um, downsides, it's a plastic tank. I, I don't really know about whether you'd have any restrictions or what liquids you can put into it, but nowadays, you tend to, a lot of these uni tanks and stuff, they're all plastic, so they, they must be getting better at building the plastics. Um, is that any downside? Oh, it probably would have been better if I could have fitted my Kanga coils in there, but obviously it's not a Kanga tank, is it? So it's just a case of sourcing these correct coils and not buying the wrong ones and end up with a load of coils you can't use, which would be no good. <coughs> As he dies on video. <coughs> but bar that, I really enjoyed it. So we have one more two and wrap it up. So that's the Far Tank by iJoy. They're coming to the UK. You can get them from Vape and Quit. I'll put a link below to their website. Order off those. Very helpful, very useful, very good. That's what I like to see nowadays. There's so many people out there vape selling vape gear. You need to there's people that will just use you and take your money and not really offer any support where they offer support and help and advice. And end of the day, that's worth a million pounds, isn't it? That's what you want to speak to, a proper a vapor person who knows what they're talking about. And I think it looks pretty good, which is a pro as well. So, what I'm going to do is go to my next product, which I also bought from them today. And that's my Anokin VTR. And I'll put this on it and see how it vapes there. And, so, and we want to check the ohms that are cool as well. So, thank you for watching. I do recommend these. Nice alternative to the Pro Tank. Looks, looks fantastic, doesn't it? Looks really, really good. That'd be nice on a Vamo. Mmm, might try that as well. So, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, uh, contact me on Facebook or the links below. i will be happy to help you. Once again, great work. <laughs> Just keep on saying once again, don't I? <laughs> I like saying once again. It's a nice little saying. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.